Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about market structure, and more specifically go into what an impulse is and what a correction is, and um, where do patterns come into the picture. But I wanted to touch on how I use patterns and wave analysis to frame the market context to build a narrative of what is going on in the market. So I want to look at what the market is doing, where it might go, and where has the market rejected. These variables are very important when trying to build a narrative and trying to establish a directional bias. So let's look at what an impulse is and what a and what a correction is. So an impulse is when you have a move up. Oh, where's my pen out there? When when you have a move up, when this is all the information you have, all the data you have on the chart, there's not much to go on. You will have to wait for the pullback. When you see structure starting to come down, and now this is the data, this is the chart data that you're looking at, then you can start to identify this as a possible impulse because we've got to move up and everything that uh, happens inside this first move up you will classify as a correction as a corrective structure so this pullback here so whatever this does as long as it doesn't break the low or the bottom as long as this stays within this area here then you will classify this fractal piece as correction it's first when when you make when this goes and makes a higher high then you can now look at this as a completed correction and this as your first impulse this now becomes your second impulse or just another impulse and the same happens again when this starts pulling back then everything inside this second move here this impulse is now a correction you will now treat this as a correction until it either breaks this top or it comes down we now know what an impulse is and what a correction is where do patterns come into the picture let's talk a little bit about patterns because they are very important and this concept is very important so we're going to take a look at the most basic pattern which is a regular flat which looks like this where if we take this concept here and apply it to this piece instead this fractal piece let me delete this but let's take a look here we have our a move up here and we know this is our impulse because everything inside of this is a correction because whatever happens within the boundaries of this first move is a correction until uh, a top or a low is broken so when this came down here and came up here we still knew we were in correction came down here we still knew we were in correction and then it came up and broke the top now we know that we are in an impulse that is going up we have there are some very smart people out there who then have identified a lot of these patterns and one of these patterns is this one regular flat because whatever happens here in a correction that is what we're looking to identify because there are a lot of trading opportunities you could trade down you could buy up here you could buy from here and write the next impulse up you could sell up here But all of this is irrelevant for now and it's like specific tactics that you will employ when you understand the concept of market structure and how the market moves. So let's get back to looking at just patterns and the market. When we have these patterns, these are the ones that we will try to identify in real time, but it doesn't always work out uh, because there are multiple waves 
multiple ways in how a correction can develop. So you will look for the first impulse up when you do your analysis. Let's just take an example for now um, at EURUSD because it's a bit easier to visually look at look at what is an impulse or what is a correction. Um, oh yeah, another important concept is that there's also a visual context or a visual aspect to pattern and wave analysis. That is, just look at this here, how sharply it goes up. This is easily classified, identified as an impulse, whereas you see all this, this is very corrective. And looking at this time frame, the monthly time frame, you have all to take into consideration that there are very different degrees of trends and degrees of correction. So on this time frame, this here is a correction. But this has multiple corrections inside and multiple trends inside. There are trends within trends and patterns within patterns. And this is what makes wave analysis and pattern analysis strong. Let me just give you a quick example. If you have if this is what you have on a monthly uh, time frame, you have an impulse up here. You see the first move. Let's mark it. And you now see something like this that looks like a possible regular flat. But you don't know that. You don't know if this is the correction that you're looking for yet. And this is where pattern within patterns is a strong concept because if you have this then you can make a high probability assumption that we will be looking for another impulse up to complete the uptrend to continue the uptrend and where this is a strong concept is that you then go on a lower time frames and you study what what's happening here you look for your uh, lower time frame confirmations that this is going up so you look for and you go down to like four hour one hour and you start looking for a structure that is doing something like this and is indicating that okay we might be starting some kind of uptrend and if you zoom out on the monthly then you do know that we have a <coughs> we have an impulse up we have what looks like a uh, regular flat and then you zoom in on lower time frames and you look for confirmations and from this point on you know that all you do is you look for bullishness your directional bias is up so you will look for upside traits this is very strong because this gives you a frame it gives you a way to frame the context of the market patterns they they give you the opportunity to not trade blindly and the thing is that a lot can happen markets they can develop in multiple waves ways let's say that this comes up to this trend line and then it starts to come down then you start your pattern recognition brain starts immediately thinking okay this is most likely not the whole corrective structure we might be doing something more because you do know that this impulse whatever is inside of this is a correction it's first when we break out of it and we make a higher high then we are out of this correction and this correction is over so if this is the case that it starts pulling down then you immediately say to yourself, okay, we're making something different. We're making another correction. And it's your job to know these patterns that happens. So in this case, it could be a complex structure, a complex regular flat. And now, again, if you're in this situation, you will start looking for bias because you know that you have seen this kind of pattern before where you have an impulse and you have a very significant you have a pattern that you've studied and then you that you know so your directional bias is up 
so you will go on lower time frames and look for confirmations look for buy opportunities whatever that may be um, so you zoom in and you start looking for yeah uh, the structure to turn bullish and then you can buy with having this bigger picture in mind okay everyone thank you for watching I'm actually gonna just end the video here because I covered what I wanted to cover and that was mainly what an impulse is what a correction is and a little and a little bit about patterns I will I will make way many more videos and go way mo way more in depth in uh, under um, so you guys understand completely what and how the structure moves and how the pattern develops and what kind of pattern can develop and so on and so on and so on but for now I just wanted to make this little this little introduction so thank you so much again and I hope you liked it and I will do my very best to keep producing content so subscribe and like and yeah thank you <laughs>